Hey guys, welcome once again to Ernest Cole Fishing. I am the Bassman Ernest Cole, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. This is not going to be a fishing video or a how-to. Actually, it's going to be a how-to. But uh, what we're going to be doing today is I am going to start building my very own custom rod. And I've got a kit here. I'm going to take you guys through that, show you the components that I got, and show you what it takes to build your own rod. Uh, so with that being said, let's get into the unboxing, show you what components we got, and uh, we're going to have some fun with this one. Alright folks, let's get into the components and show you guys what all I've got and what all I've got to work with here. Uh, now, full disclosure, you guys have seen me uh, use uh, SNH Outcast rods. Still use those. I'm still affiliated with those guys. Uh, I actually talked to Shannon this morning. But uh, this is just something that I want to do a couple of times for myself. And uh, will I start building rods full time? No, I'm still going to use Outcast. But just something, uh, kind of a pet project of mine I've been wanting to do for a couple of years. So, let's get into it. All right, first, look at the rod. I kind of snuck a peek at some of these but not really, uh, didn't unbox everything. I just kind of made sure that everything was there. Put that back in there pretty good. Uh, this was shipped very well. This come FedEx, uh, it's in a PVC pipe. So uh, very well shipped. I've not took the blank out to look at it. So I uh, really don't know what all is in this. But that's everything. Um, wrapped really well. I'm gonna be careful with this. I don't wanna, don't wanna tear it up. First thing, I break the rod. Oh, that sucks. Looks like it is overpacked with some brown paper. The actual rod blank itself is inside of it. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. MHX. Looks like it's got a little piece of cloth in there with it. Decal. Let me lose that. Okay. Now the blank that I got, this is a seven foot medium heavy uh, fast action rod, kind of just a general all-purpose rod is what I got. This blank, uh, for any of you that are wondering, this is the MB843. Uh, that's the rod type, in case any of you guys were wondering. If you guys got any questions on this, or you know, as far as the ordering process, what I went through, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear them. This kit, I believe, was $189, and that rod, uh, all the material to, to uh, your epoxy, your guides, your reel seats, and your handles, everything is in this kit. And if you're a first-time builder. I would say that this would be a, a very good uh, kit to get. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. So, nice tapering rod that everybody else does. Be a good rod. It's a fast action tip. Very nice. Got a little plastic protector on the end. Very good. Okay. Looking forward to this. Let's see what else we've got in this little baggie we've got. I think I did mention it's seven foot. Okay, you're probably not going to be able to see real uh, detailed on what I've got. I'll kind of spread it all out and kind of give you guys a detailed picture of it at the end of this, but. I uh, got the decal, it's got the uh, the serial number on here, the uh, 7 foot uh, pound, line poundage and the uh, you know weight poundage, just like, a, just like any other rod. Uh, MHS sticker, we 
got here? Looks like a microfiber cloth. Yeah. MHX microfiber cloth, I guess, to clean it when you get done with it. Uh, microfiber. So, very nice. Very nice. Let me stick that here. Nice blank. Let me set this blank to the side and uh, so I don't uh, drop it on the ground and get it dirty. Uh, put it probably put it back in this thing and uh, let me check back with you guys in just one second. All right, guys, set that rod to the side so I wouldn't uh, break it out here. <laughs> so oh, let's get into the actual big box of stuff here that we've got. Uh, this is a uh, from Mud Hole uh, Custom Tackle. Uh, you guys may or may not have seen those, and you can get any kind of rod blank just about you want any kind of rod component reel seats glue epoxy that you want from those guys uh, they pretty much got it all they're pretty much the biggest supplier i think of you know rod building supplies so and they're good i got the all-in-one rod building supply kit that comes with uh, everything you guys are going to see here the blank and you can pick out which blank you got they've got several several kits to choose from but uh to show you what's in the box here and actually what it takes to build your own rod. Paper. Everybody needs paper. All right. This was something uh, uh, that uh, I didn't know came with this kit, and I'm very pleasantly surprised. This is a reamer uh, that I thought that I was going to have to buy separate, but I didn't because I've got some round files uh for the cork handle that I got. And I thought, well, I'll just use that. But this came with a reamer and I'm very excited about, didn't know it came with the kit. Uh, pleasantly surprised with that. Um, show you guys the reamer. Uh, 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 like I said earlier, I'll set up all these components and show you guys when I get through. Uh, I know it's I'm kind of far away from the camera, but I kind of wanted to show the whole picture right now. Uh, the reamer itself is uh, kind of like a uh, screwdriver handle. Uh, it's pretty long here that you can get in there and uh, kind of hollow out those cork blanks and uh, even EVA and, and what else you need. Uh, show you guys that reamer. Set that to the side here. Uh, let's see here. What is this? This is the alcohol burner. Uh, kind of show you guys. Uh, what you'll use this for is after you get the epoxy uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, the guides and everything, uh, you'll take an alcohol burner and uh, kind of run this underneath there, and that'll kind of get out all the air bubbles in the epoxy and give you a nice smooth finish. Uh, I've used epoxy before with some home projects here, and I usually just take a torch and kind of get the air bubbles out, so uh, kind of the same purpose, but with the, uh, you put denatured alcohol in this, and that's kind of a clean burning fuel that you won't get any soot or anything on your, uh, any discoloration on your rod. What else we got? All right, we got the handle kit itself. Uh, with this kit that I ordered, you can get different kinds of uh, different color uh, uh, casting guides. You can get either black or silver. I got the black. That's got all of the uh, all of the eyelets you need on these, and these look like micro guides, yeah. Uh, and a hook keeper also comes with a top on it. Uh, I know you guys can't see that I'm pretty far off but uh, that is pretty good now on the handle I ordered a split cork grip I like split grips uh, on my rods and uh, I know you guys can't see this uh, nice real seat graphite uh, it doesn't have an exposed blank I, I like an exposed blank and I may can go back later on and change that if I don't like it but just for my first rod build, this will be okay. Um, nice graphite reel seat, pretty good. And of course, the cork grips, and you'll see that process later. Oh, let's see. I got us a book, which will be very handy, how to build a rod. <laughs> so that'll come in handy. Uh, let's see, we've got a bunch of stuff in here, and I'll lay all this out later. 
uh, in just a few minutes what what all is in here i got a dvd on how to build i've watched about a hundred of these before i ordered and this has got your pro coat uh, your epoxy uh, ruler tape some uh, pro paste for the real handles a variety of threads i got to pick out which color thread that i want a little snip here uh burnishing tool everything you need to uh to put the uh the guides on china marker to mark the blank uh, very nice i'm not gonna unbox that take all that out i will i'll do a kind of a sweep when i get through and show you guys what all i've got so what else we got all right big mud hole uh catalog be using that i've already got some ideas for my next build my wife wants me to build one for her too so let's get that what do we got here uh, all right we got the rod dryer let's take this out of the box this is to um, once you actually get done building your rod or while you're uh, putting the epoxy on this spins I think at about 9 rpms that way uh, you get a good even finish on all your rod once you put your epoxy on uh, and finish that pretty nice right there really digging that like I said I won't take all these out just yet until I get done with my unboxing here if I can get it back in the box okay set that to the side more paper all right this is the rod wrapper itself and that this will actually go between uh, the uh, uh, the little rotisserie um, rod dryer and the end and it'll kind of help support it plus when you're wrapping those guys with the thread uh, this has got a wrapper um, I think that you have to put all this together yeah I have to assemble this I'll do you guys another assembly video on this uh, I got a bunch of parts in here oh, I don't think I'll take that out everything out kind of tells you how to just a base in there you guys can see how to wrap a rod and all the information that you need so let's put that back in here with that probably do a uh, how to assemble a rod wrapper later and uh, so you guys if you get this kit you'll know uh, kind of ahead of time I like to research everything that I do as far as uh, you know from building tackle or whatever uh, that way when I go to do it I know what I'm doing and it's not such a high learning curve but uh, thread not included I think that is all as far as what it takes to actually build a rod now uh, like I said earlier I'm not gonna have any plans to quit using outcast rod or anything like that still love those guys it's just a pet project that I wanted to do for a while uh, I do build tackle on occasion I never do film that it's just something I do sometimes uh, a lot of times in the winter if you can't go fishing I'll come out to the shop here and make some tackle but that is what it takes uh, I think what I'll do with this is I'll kind of give you guys a series of videos as far as uh, each step that it takes as far as wrapping the guys and everything because I don't want this video to be like an hour long uh, most people's uh, I know my attention span is not that long but uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, kind of do a couple of videos for you guys and stretch them out uh, guys, if you're interested in uh, maybe building your own rod, uh, just jump on over to Mud Hole and, and give a look. And they've got a lot of good kits, and it's an all-in-one, and you don't have to. Well, do I need this or do I need that? If you're uh, just looking to, to build one for the first time, like I am, uh, you know, I'd suggest giving those guys a call and, and take a look at what they've got. So, like I said, I'll end this one right here. Uh, and if you guys will stick around, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. It'll let you know when the next video comes and any videos that I do. I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I'll just kind of do a sweep and show you what all I got at the, at the outro of this. Uh, stick around for the next video. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to start this project. So with that being said, I'm the Bassmanger's Cole. I'm 
We'll see you guys down the road.